me last year, so just get up on my face. They all up in my inbox, so I know they wanna taste. Hi, this is your girl The Makeup Plug and I'm back again with another nail tutorial and if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe and stay tuned. So right now I'm going to prep my nails. I'm starting off with trimming my nails with my nail clipper and then you guys will see the rest of my prep routine for my nails. Okay, so after prepping my nails, your nails should look like this and it should be down low like this. And so right now I'm actually going to be taking the McCart full nail tips and these are like a full nail, like press on nails as you guys can see. And they're very clear and they're very thin and I love these. So I'm taking the McCart nails and I'm actually just trying to find my size for each nail. Okay, so now that we're done picking out our nail, we're actually going to start by gluing the press-on nail to our nail. And I'm going to link everything that I use and that I have down below. Okay, so now we're going to take the nail tip and I'm actually just going to press that down onto my thumb. And when you're doing this, be very careful because you do not want to get nail glue everywhere. It will be sticking to you left and right. Especially this nail glue, I got it in a pack of five from Amazon and this is actually really, really strong nail glue. So now I'm just filing down a little bit of the edges of the nails, like the tips and the sides, just because I want it to be very, very sharp. And so far, this is what we have. Now I'm going to do my other hand and show you the rest. So right now I'm taking this baby pink color and I'm going to put that on all of my nails because this is going to be the color basically that I'm going for to help bling out my nails. And when you guys are doing this, take your time, never rush, just because when painting your nails, it can be a little frustrating and you never want to mess up because when you mess up your nail polish, you always got to start over. <laughs> so you might as well just relax and take your time. Uh, this is my result so far. The only thing left to do is to blink out these nails. Like, come on, y'all. Come on. <laughs> I forgot to mention that I did do two coats of gel polish. I did one coat, put in my UV lamp, and then I did a second coat and put in my UV lamp as well. Now for my favorite part, it is time to blink out my nails. So now I'm taking a pressed pigment and I'm going to put this on both of my pinky fingers.
And now I am going to the jewel to other fingers. I just did this very randomly while I was doing this video. So yes. <laughs> and I'm also using the nail glue to glue down my jewels. And I know that putting jewels on your nails isn't the easiest, especially if you're not using your dominant hand. So I always say just breathe, take your time. And you can also move your jewels when you're using nail glue. Like I love this nail glue because I had plenty of time to manipulate my jewels the way I wanted to. And especially if they moved, I get to tap them back into place without any problem. So just relax, take your time. And I love the way it came out. y'all look at my nails like come on i don't do blinged out nails all the time honestly i never really do them at all but i love the outcome of this and the only thing to do is to top it off with some gel top coat and when i do this i'm going around my rhinestones i'm never putting the gel top coat on top of my rhinestones because that will mess it up or my rhinestones will get foggy or it would just look crazy basically so when doing a top coat on top of rhinestones go around it or like in between it that is all for today thank you guys so much for watching this video and if you haven't already don't forget to like comment and subscribe and if you want to see more nail videos from me let me know down below in the comment section peace